One of the most peculiar ways to curb the use of firewood in Africa is by substituting it with biogas, a gaseous fuel, especially methane, produced by the fermentation of organic matter. When you talk about biogas, people think about cows. People think about construction, people think about humongous things, and a lot of people disqualify themselves. They say, I don't qualify for biogas because I don't have cows. But with a biogas system, you can run them on anything biodegradable. So whether you have cows or not, you can use uh, kitchen waste, you can use market waste, you can use poultry waste, you can use weeds. With our technology, everybody qualifies. From zero waste to taste in waste. Methane is a colorless, odorless, flammable gaseous hydrocarbon that is a product of biological decomposition of organic matter used as fuel. Sasa hii kitu ni mzuri. Sasa ingine unaweza kupika nayo chai. Kama umechaza vizuri, unapika chai, unapika mboga, unapika ugali. Baka baki kidogo tena unaweza kuchemusha nayo hata maji. Utachukuanga mafu ya ngombe, ya kuku pia anatumia nayo. Sasa nimeuliza na, naweza kuchukua kiasi gani? Asibui kama asibui unaweka ndo kumi ata kumi na tani kama unaweza kupata hizo mafi mingi na kama amekushinda unaweza ata kuweka tatu lazima uweke kila siku sasa nawekanga kila siku napika na sasa naweka alafu mota asiisha kwa sababu kama ujaweka mota anaisha kama umesa apika uchafu anatoka na unaweza ku kupanda nayo mboga naweza kupanda nayo mahindi kila kitu amesema hiyo manyiwa ni nzuri what we have is a biogas digester in the middle of everything in a farm setup so this is a biogas digester you produce your gas from uh, the digester the gas goes to the kitchen and uh, you, you cook in your kitchen if you have excess gas, then there is an option of running machinery like this. This is a generator. A generator that uh, now you can plug in anything. In this case, we are demonstrating that you can charge your batteries uh, when you are running the generator. And uh, you can use the batteries at night, charging your phone, watching your TV. The name Flexi comes from uh, the name Flexible, meaning our digester, our biogas technology is very different. We are a business that uh, are solution-based and our core business is developing tools and solutions more in line with poverty alleviation, conservation, environment. Occupying a shallow depression in Africa, Lake Victoria is the second largest freshwater lake in the world, attaining a volume of about 2,424 kilometers cubic with an area of 68,800 kilometers squared and a length of 337 kilometers boast of providing numerous fish. It is estimated that water hyacinth covers about 65,000 to 70,000 hectares on the Wynnum Gulf in Lake Victoria. Water hyacinth grows mostly around emerging towns around the lake due to human pollution. <laughs> inaenda kusemu zingine tena. Yaani niliangalia vile inakujaga. Nikaona hii kiti inakuja after 5 years. Wakati wa election hiyo kiti inakujanga. Labda kufika disemba kama hiki itakuwa imekuja. Saa nyingine ikifungia wavuvi huko itabidi wakae upepo ikikuje ikipasuka kidogo na wanasonga. Ikipasuka kidogo na inatembea na upepo. Sasa wakiona maji kionekana kidogo wanatoka. Kuna kuza kuja asubuhi samaki tukae tapaka saa saba
Growing to almost one meter long, they are a nuisance to the fishermen, blocking sunlight from getting into the water. Dunga Beach hosts hundreds of women and men whom their main source of livelihood is a business of selling fish. One of the major processes of preparing fish is defrying it in sizzling hot cooking oil. These lovely mothers maximize the use of charcoal and firewood. This shall be normal after Flexi Biogas solved their problem by installing a 50 meters cubic, 21 meters by 3 meters long biodigester in Dunga Beach, which is estimated to produce 40 to 50 meters cubic of gas, depending on the feed. The main feed is water hyacinth and other waste. Most of the universities in Kenya we approached, and all of them said, you know, um, this was now with the Water Hyacinth project, even before we broke into the waste management. Uh, they were like, well, Water Hyacinth could make biogas, why didn't anyone do it? Uh, our big break was when um, a friend of mine at Cambridge University uh, suggested that uh, um, AstraZeneca. Uh, would be able to were interested in sponsoring a biogas project that would offset smoke from a fishing community, uh, fishmongers who were find their fish. And that was our big break. We put a, a large co uh, commercial system in uh, Dunga Beach and um, we proved what Hyacinth makes a lot of gas. And the Kisumu County were very, very interested in what we were doing. And uh, we, we signed an MOU with them and they gave us a hero uh, as a pilot project to run on our market waste. And so now we put in the big, the big picture, the big program, and get our big digesters, um, you know, into the mainstream. Kisumu city ranked highly as the cleanest town in Kenya, while Nairobi, the capital city, was ranked amongst the dirtiest cities in a statistics done in 2018. Some of the reasons contributing to this is waste mismanagement, poor drainage system and poor road network within the estates. More than 2,000 traders have been allocated stalls at the World Bank and the state-funded four-story Ngong Ultra Modern Retail Market in Kajado County. Its massiveness and beauty, located in an acre of land, makes it the biggest modern market in East and Central Africa. Adoption of the solution to tackle zero waste management was the first step the county of Kajaru took before its happy traders filled the market stalls. We've been trying to sell this concept of uh, waste to resource um, for almost three or four years, actually more, four or five years. And um, we couldn't get, we actually tried to, to approach the Kajaru county before, uh, with, with, with nothing happened to it, uh, nothing happened to the project, um, simply because People just, they always ask the question, if it could happen, if it could be done, why hasn't it been done anywhere yet? Old friend of mine, Louis, um, we, we were chatting with him about what we were doing and he followed us on Facebook and what have you. And he said that he thinks he can get us into Kajiado. So I wondered, we've been there, done that, you know. Uh, Louis was a bit insistent and came then, so I came down, he introduced us to um, David. When these farmers and traders mingle, numerous waste collects. We come from the environmental side of uh, development in Kenya. Myself, I come from uh, NGO world in the environment. Dominic the same. So uh, we are ready to partner with any person that has uh, the same heart as us. We are ready to share our knowledge and to show everybody that this can be done in a local way. 
Najua ukipita huko ndani unaingia na kukuta wewe kijana utakataka. Unaambia hapana mimi si watakataka mimi ni wa nini? Ni wa bayo. Sawa. Sana sana wa mama wengi huko ndani pia huwa wananiita makufuli sasa nyingine. Yaani wacha lazima uko na zile fan fan majini. Huku kuna watu wanatusaidia kuokota uchafu, wanajita bayo basi. Hao ndio wanaokotaka uchafu kila mtu akifagia mahali pake anaweka na gumia ama bucket halafu wanazunguka huku na trail wanakuja wakichukua tunafurahia eh tunaona kuna usafi ningeomba tu wenzangu kila mtu akiwa na uchafu yake anaweka vizuri ndio soko yetu ile safi tunashukuru kwa wale walikujengea uh, in the market the main dry or wet stuff we get is the banana waste once it's shred we mix it and then we get a splendid uh, a nice ratio of, of carbon and nitrogen so that our compost is fully uh, is going to do the full decomposition and then we'll add a bit of uh, bio fertilizer to it the process of uh, decomposition will kick off instantly there are several types of waste ranging from liquid waste commonly found in household and industries, solid rubbish, organic and hazardous waste. Once we have cleaned the belts and everything has come off the belt, we have categorized the waste into uh, four or five main categories. What uh, Flexi Biogas, what we want in the recycle market is all of the stuff that would have ended up in the landfill. So that includes uh, the organic, which is the majority. It's about 70 to 80 percent of the waste is actually organic. And then, of course, there is the the diapers and the pads and all of those sort of things are really undesirables. The wet cartoning, the wet packaging that nobody wants. Nobody will touch them. Nobody wants to recycle them. They're very pathogenic and what have you. So the organic goes straight into the biogas plant and produces energy and very, very good quality fertilizer. Undesirable stuff goes into the incinerator, which is a heat recovery system where we recover uh, the heat and in the form of hot water, which can we, we use it for heating the digesters, we can heat it for showers. There's many, many different ways of using uh, hot water. Um, so, th so those diapers and what have you are not really waste anymore. We have repurposed them. We have now recovered the energy out of them and we're using that. Then on the other products that come off, the other lines that come off, we've got the glass that goes straight to mainstream recycling, the plastics that go to mainstream recycling, and then the soft plastics that go to mainstream recycling. Hii makaratasi yote ita itaenda kuchoma pare kwa incinerator. Tutatumia jibu yenyewe kwa kutengeneza mawe ya kujenga. Mi ya kuna kazi na chahua. So ni kiingia huko ni kosawa, ni kikunja hapa ni kosawa. Familia yangu inakulia hapo, Nyumbani wanyo mama akisaka kitu na mtumia nikiwa hapa hapa so niko sawa sasa kichenye na ezaambia wanawake wengine hakuna kuchagua kazi kazi ni kazi ndio upate ndile bread so ukichagua kazi utaumia baadaye na maisha ni ngumu so that is we are creating a thing as a church plant trees within that um, by the churches and taking a step in the plant trees. We want them to have, even if they have a block, they can fence about five, six hectares, the plant trees. They can even name that area, this a, a particular child. So they have a lot to create. They have a role to create awareness, to create even every Sunday, five minutes. Tell people about the environment, planting trees in their homestay, and even in the garden. Some of the problems solved and several services include cleaner environment and thus healthy cities, installation of flexi domestic system at an affordable price, production of biogas and providing organic liquid fertilizer at a cheaper price. Aligned with the UN Sustainable Development Goals, Flexi Biogas International aims at zero waste and healthier homes for greater good towards sustainable cities by 2030.